So we're on the third issue of the United States of Hysteria. And, uh, okay, so apparently it's the Suicide Squad, if everybody in the Suicide Squad was unlikable. And I'm not just talking about how everybody didn't like the Suicide Squad movie. Because, uh, okay, so if you haven't been following, a nuke went off in New York. And they found out some people who were responsible. Now they want to go after them. And they get gang leaders from all of these different racist and homophobic gangs to come together. And they've been doing this, like, every issue for the last three issues, talking about these gang leaders and such. So now they finally got them together. And it still is one big cluster. Like, I, I've mentioned before in other reviews where whenever you see the blue boxes on the side, that's shaken preaching. And you can literally read two comics. Read the blue boxes and then go back and read the dialogue. One is his talk about, well, this is what's wrong with the country. And then the rest of it is just basically a whole bunch of ugly people being ugly characters. That's it. There is nothing here really redeemable. It doesn't say, I, I've said this before, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I keep repeating myself. But this isn't a reflection on America. This is a reflection on Howard Shaken sees America. And that's the big problem with it. Uh, it. It's one man's perspective, but it's one man's horrible perspective on the rest of the country. He sees you this way. And it's one of those things, well, oh, well, all black people are this except for he doesn't acknowledge the people around him, I'm sure. All white people are racist, except for him, of course. You know, it's just one of those situations where he's writing the, the story. Now, the prose is good. Uh, even if I don't agree with the message, I've got to say he does keep it moving. There is a good pace to it. I don't know if you like this art. You're seeing it for yourself. It didn't impress me very much. The dialogue is horrible. Uh, it, but once again, it's really weird because why, reading this book, you can see why Howard Shaken is famous in this industry. He knows how to put together uh, a book. And I guess that's the. it's like when you watch a movie and you can tell that it's been done well. It's got great cinematography and everything about it seems well put together but it's just boring as shit well this is the same way except for like i said it's it's vile it's just nothing i want to be around no one i want to i want to read about there's no story here that i can't get other places without watching everybody acting as if they're big racists and homophobes i don't need that in my life sorry guys oh this scene right here they're talking about their big plan and then for no reason whatsoever, they just start calling each other racist names and fighting. I mean, like, literally, it's like, well, I'm this guy. Hey, okay. But well, then you. And they just start calling all sorts of racist names. And there was no ne need for it. It was an unnecessary scene, except Howard Shaken wanted to be shocking. There's just no point to it. And in all honesty, in my less than humble opinion... I'm starting to believe there's just no point to the series. I mean, he's got a message, but saw, the message was uh, it should have been a one-shot. America is in a racial divide. Yeah, if you play gender politics saying you're over there and you're over there and you're over there, you're going to divide a nation, guys. That's what's happening. But that's a one-shot, not a series. This should have ended a long time ago, and I think I'm done with it. But that's just my opinion. What about yours? Have you read this story? Have you been following it as I've been reviewing it? What do you think? I mean, am I wrong about this? I mean, granted, I know I'm a little more sensitive to some of this stuff than others. But um, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. You know, I mean, are you following the series and will you continue? Put that down there also. And if you haven't already, you know, click like, share, and most definitely subscribe if you haven't done that already. Click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you don't mind, head on over to Patreon or to Vidme. Drop a tip in the jar. We do have extra videos on the Patreon page. So your dollar will definitely go far. And we definitely would appreciate that. Keep the lights on. Help me and Chef Jack keep this train a rolling like to thank everybody who's already doing that, everybody who will do that, and to everyone, thank you very, very much for watching.